good morning you guys and welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new here i am so excited for today's vlog it is officially november which means it is it's christmas sorry i don't make the rules i mean i do actually which is such a liberating feeling my parents love christmas but they are strictly december 1st decorate for christmas kind of family and now that i'm an adult and i have my own house and i can make my own rules and do whatever i want i get to decorate in november and I'm pretty excited about it. I just want to enjoy the season for as long as humanly possible and enjoy all our Christmas decor for the most amount of time. So we are decorating. Hello. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. We just took Mabel to the beach, if you couldn't already tell. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already known this because I posted on my story. This girl, this cute little innocent angel, one of the cutest dogs known to man. You know what she did yesterday? Do you know what she did? She killed three birds three birds she's a serial killer my daughter is literally a murderer and i don't know how to feel about that like i know it's in her nature she's literally bred to be a hunting dog but it's just like very confronting to see that like this cute little innocent puppy and she goes and kills three birds and what actually i think it's four nick and i were talking about this we got our wires crossed because we were both in and out all day yesterday she got three birds with him and then two birds with me but one of the birds was we were here at the same time so i actually think it's four birds that she killed yesterday so our bin is literally just full of dead birds it's i like shouldn't be laughing it's i feel so bad for them i really do like these poor innocent creatures i don't know why they continue to hang around they have like a vendetta against her she's killed their entire family got to fix that today i think we're gonna go to bunnings and get some like bird deterrent or something i don't know i don't know what to do because i don't want them to keep coming in the garden obviously they're just gonna die because apparently she's like a bird hunter or something and i also don't want her to get hurt because they keep coming and swooping at her it's just it's a whole thing. So yeah, that was my day yesterday, which was fun. It was actually low-key traumatizing because she bought one in the house and was like running around with it. Oh my God, it was so bad. I was like screaming. Nick was on like a really important call. And I was like, babe, I don't want to interrupt you, but like I need help right now. It's a two man job, it really was. Anyway, enough about my dog's sick bird obsession. I'm so excited for today's vlog. We are going to decorate for Christmas. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. I've literally been thinking about this all week. If I'd had it my way, I would have had my Christmas tree up on November 1st, but I had work all week. So we're taking the first opportunity, Saturday morning up bright and early, ready to run some Christmas errands. We're gonna head to the shops first and do a bit of Christmas decor shopping, which I'm so excited about. I'll bring you guys along for that. We're gonna go to TK Maxx. I'm gonna go to Pillow Talk. I've seen some really cute Christmas treats and some cute little Christmas decor pillows. I'm going all out this year, guys. I don't care. This is our first year in our own house. We've never really gone too crazy with our Christmas decor because I feel like if you're jumping from rental to rental, like you don't want to invest in pieces that don't go with the vibe or like don't fit in the house. Now that we own our own home, we can like start collecting some cool pieces. So I'm very excited. Our Christmas tree has always been our focal point and I'm very proud of our Christmas tree, but it's time to step it up with the little knickknacks. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love Christmas. I love everything about Christmas and it truly is the best time of the year. So yeah, TK Maxx, Pillow Talk, and then maybe like Target or Kmart or something. A fun morning of Christmas shopping. And then I have lunch plans with my friend Taylor here on YouTube, Taylor Louise Budgets. I'm really excited to meet her in person. She's been down in Adelaide for a conference this week and she flies out today. So we're gonna go grab some lunch before she does, meet in person. I always love meeting people from online. I just think it's one of the coolest things to create friendships and relationships literally over the internet. It's like one of the coolest things ever. So really excited to meet her in person. We're gonna do that at lunch and then I'm gonna come home this afternoon and start decorating. We also have, um, drink plans I think with friends this afternoon as well so kind of a busy day quick little OOTD with the dog um, <laughs> music in the um, background I've got my by May bag my little puffer vest it's kind of like weird in between whether it's kind of hot kind of not the wind has a bit of a chill so puffer vest from cotton on my jumpers from white fox and then I've just got my rockwear leggings and my New balances. My sunnies are from Key, Australia. Don't mind the mess. We're gonna do a quick little tidy up when we get home before I start decorating. Let's do it! <laughs>
that's cool. Fresh cut pine. It's fresh. Very fresh. It's gonna be no. <laughs> it's cute though, like as a piece of actual. Yeah, you don't actually look. need to burn again. Yeah. Or it just be different. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. What does that smell like? Juniper berry sage. It's not really doing it for me, I'll be honest. Cookies for Santa. That's giving Kmart um, Christmas cookie. I like that. Look how cute that is. Yeah, we should get that. So cute. Nick is being such a yes man today. He's literally said yes to everything. I haven't. You get asked it. me about some ball balls and I said no. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, they have more um, Christmas blankets. Yeah. <gasps> I love that. Yeah, that would go so well with the pillow. Oh, it's a tree skirt. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought you knew that. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were blankets. No. Dang it. Yeah. That would have been perfect. This? No. We've already got one. I like these stockings. Cute. I was like, wow, you're very sad. I'm pretty sure we've already got one. <laughs> that would have actually been so cool as a blanket. Dang it. That's so cute. I yeah. love that. Or oh, the fall of it. This is cute. Did we have very similar? Yeah, we have one with green on it, like, um... Kind of like that one. Would that one would go, that one wouldn't, and that one would. So two out of three, and your oven mitts. Oh, even better. How much? Only 20 bucks. It's cute. An advent calendar for Mabel Moo. What would you put in there? Is that no, it's, it comes with dog toys. Oh my god, strong. Imagine, that would be so extra. <laughs> Santa paws. Oh my gosh. What if we don't get this for her? She's missing out. It's a big bowl though. Her ears would go in that. Wow, they have actually really good dog toys here. Should we get her a little little birdie? Oh, Maybe. the launch toy. That is a Christmas dinosaur. It flies. She can go like that with it. We shouldn't teach her bad habits. Though. Oh, that's so cute. Should we get her a toy while we're here? Whiskey. Oh, we have to get her that for Christmas. Yeah. Okay, we changed our mind. We're getting this one because Nick thought that one was a bit creepy and he loves turtles. Yes! Twin sheets. Not really us, is it? Oops. I like these ones. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> it's so cringe. Any other gifts? This one's so cute. But it's a full sheet. What does that mean? Well, not a queen. That's so cute. Do we need it though? Probably not. <laughs> Imagine just washing your hands. That would bring you so much joy. I would, I would wash my hands like so frequently. Like I do already. But like, <laughs> Ew, dirty boy. <laughs> That's a dirty boy. <laughs> we finished up our Christmas shopping, partially, at TK Maxx at least. We've just gone to mcdonald's and grabbed a creme brulee latte they just brought this out and i am desperate to try it so we got one each and a little hash brown to tie us over because i'm not i haven't eaten anything and i've already had a coffee today thanks should we do it at the same time sure. what are your predictions i'm thinking sweet <gasps> i just got a bit of the cream oh my gosh i thought we said it at the same time i did that as you said at the same time cheers a little mixy roof. Sweet. <laughs> That's nice. How do you feel about this as a non whipped cream girly? You know what? Whipped cream is actually growing on me, but only in drinks because it like melts in. Yeah. And I it agree. just it's like creamy. Like I'm not opposed to creamy stuff. Like I love creamy pasta, like creamy tasting things like that's like i'm not opposed to that i just don't like yeah. actual cream just like pure cream by itself it would really make no sense if you didn't like whipped cream because you like starbucks christmas drinks and they all have whipped cream in them yeah but i usually get them without whipped cream Touché. do you even know me no we haven't done the starbucks christmas drinks yet but can i say we will be because we're going, we're going to, sydney. to sydney that's literally the whole reason we're going to sydney is to have the starbucks christmas drinks and, and for my work that's that's a side <laughs> side quest. <laughs>
<laughs> I rang up work and I was like, hey, Ella really wants some Christmas drinks. Or if I do a couple of days in the Sydney office. Uh, have I told you about this? Nah. We've... Oh, no, I did. I you don't know because you're so behind on my videos. I'm sorry. I've been um, so busy. Yeah. I did talk about it in my recent that we booked flights for Sydney. Anyway, verdict is this is this That's is pretty fantastic. Good. It's not like, oh my gosh, you must rush to a nearest McDonald's and try it. It's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, we are going to head to Pillow Talk now. We had such a successful time in TK Maxx. I'm not even kidding. And cheap. It was like... Yeah, how good are the prices? It was so fun and festive in there. Run to your nearest TK Maxx. I feel like everything is selling out. I could see things flying off the shelf as we were in there and it started getting really busy, so I'm glad we went when we did. To be honest with um, you, even in the in the lap around and then you go back to look again and like, it looked less good. I know. So, very successful. We're going to go to Pillow Talk now because even though I got some Christmas sheets, I still want to see if they have these really cute, the like gingerbread and candy cane pillows. So, I want to see what they have there and then maybe target we need to get mabel a christmas stocking as a matter of urgency because i don't want her to feel left out you know Good morning, you guys, and happy Sunday. We are up and at it bright and early. It is 7.15. We've already taken Mabel out. She's nearly caught a fifth bird, which is stunning. Mm. You know what we need to do today? Get a bell for her. A bell? For a collar. Oh, yeah. So yeah. they can hear her coming, <laughs> like a cat. Yeah, She's yeah, literally yeah, a, yeah, a cat. Yeah, yeah. So that's a nice way to start the day, get the adrenaline going. Um, but we've cleared out the space, ready to decorate. We didn't end up doing it yesterday afternoon because we just got really busy and I hit a bit of a lull. I was like so tired. So we had a chill evening in. Well, I did. Nick went out. And we are up bright and early, ready to get it done. Nick has cricket all day today, so we want to spend the next hour setting up the Christmas tree before he heads off. Strictly business around here. We have lots to do. So we've cleared the space, hoovered around, and we're ready to decorate. Oh, I didn't show you guys the stuff we... Would my kind assistant mind grabbing this stuff so I can show them what we got? Certainly. I got this cutie little Christmas mug. I think... How many mugs did they get? Three? We got this one, this Grinch one, which actually came with like a hot cocoa set, but I just... We really just wanted it for the, the mug. Yeah. <laughs> Look at... Hey! We got this really cute... Now I'm looking at it. Are they actually Christmas trees or do they look like houses? Nah, they're Christmas trees. Oh, they are. It depends how you look at it. Mm. If you focus on the white, they look like houses, but yeah. when you flip it the other way, they are definitely the Christmas green, trees. Yeah. They just have to be the right way. It's really messing with my eyes. Oh, you want to help me? Thank you so much. Ah, uh -uh. see it. Should I give her her toy? Maybe. I've got something for you, but you have to be patient. Oh, is this for Mabel Moo? There we go. We got her this cutie little title. There you go. Oh, is oh that your new buddy? good girl. Off you go. Yeah, we got this cute little pillow from TK Maxx. We did go to Target after Pillow Talk because Pillow Talk was such a disappointment. They had literally nothing. Well, they had other cute stuff, but not what we went in there for. And apparently, they don't ship to where I live. So, <laughs> metropolitan Adelaide, that's just too much, too far. But I did find this really cute. Christmas tree pillow from Target and apparently they do a candy cane one. I did a click and collect order because they didn't have it in stock But they do a candy cane version of this which is exactly what I was after. So Very cute. We got some baubles. If you've been subscribed for a while, you probably know what our Christmas theme is. Very like I don't want to say neutral like lots of golds kind of pinky I guess like neutral vibes. So we got a set of four Baubles. I feel like this is going to be very interesting setting up a Christmas tree with a dog. I don't know how she's going to go with <laughs> the Christmas tree. It's going to be interesting. Got some gift tags because I feel like you can never have enough. We got a sheet set, Christmas sheet set. I'm actually so excited. I've never had Christmas sheets before. They've got little Christmas trees and cards with a cat now. I wish it was a dog, but you know what? We'll make do. We'll survive. Oh, we got this um, woof ornament. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Not for you. Put them on no. eye, I yeah, this is for you. Like we did get this for you, but it's not for you. You know, 
but it says woof because it's Mabel's first Christmas. We just had to. Oh, I forgot we got Christmas towels. Wow, I just surprised myself. We got two hand towels. They kind of go with the sheets. We got these cute little, I say cute about everything. We got these beautiful little houses. I need to find another adjective other than cute. And then last but not least, we got this little mixing bowl baking set. Comes with a Christmas tree, cookie cutter, and a snowflake one, and then like the whisk. Which we don't, do we have a whisk? We do, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's a nicer whisk in my opinion. We don't have one of these, whatever yeah, this is called. Like yeah. a, um, what's it called? Not a spatula, but like a... I don't, I don't know what it's called. Cool. And then this cute little mixing bowl, which I think we'll actually continue to use after Christmas because it's like very neutral, mm. inoffensive. It's not really giving like Christmas, you know? They had some really Christmassy ones, but we wanted to be able to use it afterwards. So yeah, I think that's everything we got. Freaking awesome. I am gonna continue to sip on my coffee. We've got the Yule log going in the background. We're gonna crank some Christmas tunes and set up this freaking Christmas tree. Mm. Let's go. Hey, that was really well vlogged. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance. I appreciate it. Most of the decor out of the boxes we're gonna sift through and see what we're working with the tree is up i've added the tinsel and the lights nix just had to head off to cricket i didn't realize how many trees i had and then i also got this whole glass christmas tree set from costco the other day whoopsies i'll show you guys what we're working with in terms of pre-existing decor I've got this beautiful wreath this was actually made by one of my friends emma door decor by emma i don't think she's doing them this year or if she is she's doing very limited amounts um but i got this from her like three christmases ago and it's still going strong it's so beautiful goes perfectly with our theme we've got this old merry christmas doormat which i'm gonna chuck outside i did see a little tiny itty bitty spider so i'm i'm being cautious here because this stuff has been sitting in the garage this is my childhood stocking makes me emotional looking at this this literally smells like christmas <sighs> it's so nice i've literally had this since i was a baby and it's got the list with my name on it. So cute. It's like so not on theme, but I love it. It will forever be my childhood stocking. This is the epitome of Christmas to me. We've got this cute little farm fresh Christmas tree tray. I'm not sure where we're gonna put this. Maybe on the dining table or on the coffee table perhaps. I don't know. I'm really gonna have to play around because this is our first Christmas in this house. And then this box has most of our baubles, so. Oh my gosh, this is, I don't think we packed this away the best. This is our honeymoon bauble. Again, not on theme, but very sentimental. We got this when we were in Hamilton Island for our honeymoon. And last year was the first year that we put it up. We put it at the back of the Christmas tree because it just doesn't go with anything else, but it's very sentimental and sweet. We've got the Harry Potter one with all the books. I think my mum got us this one. These are my favourites, the snowflakes. Oh, and the little reindeers. Oh my gosh. Most of these are either from Target Big W or Kmart, and a few from Bed Bath & Table. I think this one was from, yeah, this is Bed Bath & Table. Cute. I've got these beautiful little clay ones from Jimmy and Dot. I've got a bunch of these reindeers, they're so cute. These, why do these remind me of Mabel? Like Mabel literally reminds me of a reindeer. <laughs> this one we got, I think maybe last year. It's so cute, like it's ugly cute, I don't know. The little mice, they really do it for me. This is our angel. I'll probably have to wait till Nick gets home because he is the master at putting this up. It's She's a little top heavy. It's a little tricky to get her up there. Got this bauble. I think this one was from Target. This one, this one, this one, this one, and then these two. These are some of my favorites, especially when the lights are on because the light just like filters through. So pretty. Oh, and then we have this one, which one of you guys made me last year? It says Ella and Nick. 
so cute. Now we need one that says Mabel. And then we have this pack of baubles from Target. These are like our filler baubles just to fill in the gaps. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to put up the wreath, wreath and put out our doormat. So everyone knows we're decorating for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 